In this video, we're going to discuss two different ways that you can undo an inventory event. So it's often the case that people make a mistake or orders get canceled, etc., and you'll need to revert back to a previous state of inventory. And there's one major consideration to make when deciding how to do this, and that is whether or not you want a record of having undone the previous event. If you want to keep a record of that, which we strongly recommend, um, let's look at how to handle it in terms of this order here, number 3400. So let's say that a customer canceled this order. The best way to handle this and the way that we'll maintain a record of what happened is to simply click on the order number and change it from having an order number to not having an order number. So we'll change all the quantity to no order and then save it. And what you'll see is those 12 units went back into the uh, group of units that don't have any order number assigned. By doing it that way, you'll have a record of what happened. You'll see that the order number was applied to 12 items and then the order number was taken away from the 12 items. However, you can also perform undos that will not leave a record. They will simply revert back to the previous state. To do that type of an undo, you click on the menu here and click on your statement history. And you'll see here, we took, this is where we took away that order number. We can hit the undo button and click OK. And if we return to inventory, we'll see that that order number is now there. If you take us back to the point where we hadn't performed that offsetting activity of, of taking away the order number, this method becomes more clear. If I again go to the statement history, and now what I'm going to do is instead of having an activity that offsets the previous order assignment, I'm going to just undo the activity of creating that order at all. And I'm going to do that again by clicking the undo button and OK. And you'll see that it gets us back to the same state of 95 units without an order assigned. The only difference is that if we go to our inventory event history or we do any reporting, in the second case where we simply undid the activity, there won't be a record of that order number having ever been applied. You'll have to decide which method is best based on the situation. If somebody simply makes a keystroke error or it's an error that is inconsequential, then doing a quick undo might be the best way to go. But if you want a record of what happened, the best method is to use an offsetting event uh, and maybe adding a note to it so you'll know why the activity was undone and you'll have a permanent record of it. Thanks for watching.